when I looked up Strange Fruit, because I knew about Strange Fruit, I heard the song, I, you know, I knew the, I didn't, but I never read that it was written. Like, when, when I got to this NPR page about the strange story of the man behind Strange Fruit, and the first thing you see is this <laughs> and these two fucking kids in a picture, I'm like, no, no, it can't be. But, uh, but, but I know it is, you know? And I'm going, ring, it's, it's Abel Meerpool. And it's, no! He went to this crazy, like, high school where all these famous Jews went in the city. Of course, of like, course, dude. It's the high school of that course. Stan Lee went to. And, uh, and <laughs> it was no, just dude, like, I'm telling you, I'm sure, that, I'm sure the place was a fucking... It was, yeah. total, like, no. I mean, we know what went on in that high school, right? Yeah, like, oh, it was yeah. all fucking commie shit. You know, like, yeah. This story gets better and better, though. All right, okay. So he became, he went through the school. He became the English teacher there. <laughs> yeah, he became the uh, the English oh, teacher at <laughs> the Jew High School. He was a member of the Communist Party. Of course, he was, was. And there was actually. No, I mean, like, I could have told you that before you told me. I would have been like, the guy was a member. Yeah, of the no, Com- but, I, but I, it's it's like I'm reading this like. I, I'm like I can't believe this, but I totally believe it. You know what I mean? Like that's that yeah, combination, like, that, that red pill feeling like, of it's so, it, it's so blatant. It, it, yeah, it's weird when like everything comes together. It's like so perfect. Like, and and you'll see this pattern so many times. Like, and I I have seen it so many times mm-hmm. that it's like it still almost surprises me how perfect it is. That it's like it's so perfect. Right, like it fits. Jews, so Judaism, it's like a sickness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, this, I mean, yeah. But this goes places that it even goes even further into. You go go deeper into the abyss, and and this story is on NPR. This isn't on I'm like Jewish. Occidental. This isn't on some like Stormfront site where somebody dug in and found this history. But yeah. It's on NPR, and this is billed as heroic. Not only did this commune Jew fuck write this song that Billie Holiday made famous, uh, he and his wife, they for whatever reason, they couldn't bear children. Darn. And <laughs> I can tell you en- why that is. They ended up... I'm a queer, <laughs> fat, femme Jew All right, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. They fucking ended up adopting Julius and Ethel Rosenberg's children after they were executed. Oh my god! That that I'm is Jew. how I'm that Jew. is how common Jew these people are. I'm Jewish. I'm I, Jewish. I'm Jewish. Oh my god! Oh, he's I'm Jewish. Jewish. I mean, that is just beyond. Oh, shut it down! I mean, that's just. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm Jewish and a woman. They're all just adopted <laughs> Rosenberg's I'm Jewish. children. I'm Jewish. Listen to Hiram. The Jews are smart. That's why they own everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jewish. Dude, oh, yeah, God. wow, that's and I love how oh, the oh, guy. One last thing. He, he he met the he met the children at a Christmas party at uh, W E B and Du Bois' house. So, of course he did. Okay, and 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 the funny thing is, of course, the guy's from New York City. He's right. probably never seen a goddamn poplar tree in his entire fucking life. Exactly. And he wrote this song. You he know saw what a I mean? Photograph. Like, the photograph it's moved. A blatant. It's like, and here's the thing. I gotta tell you, if I were black, thank God that I'm not, but if I were black, I would almost, it would feel bad to be that fucking used. Right. You know what I mean? Like, to be that fucking used for, uh, by another group of people. It's like, yeah, but whatever. Just to take down... The Goyim's history and their sense yeah, of nation. Yeah, just, just as a just as a a, a a weapon in order to attack the uh, majority society, to so. to 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 undermine it and attack it like this. Yeah, it's so that, really bad. And of course, yeah, no, like it's funny. I didn't know this stuff. This stuff about the Rosenberg's children. But oh my god, I just I, I, I you know from New York City. Never been to the South in his life, probably. Definitely no. a member of the Communist Party. Yeah. That's all fucking predictable. I was actually I was actually live blogging at in the Facebook group as I was reading the article because I was just so like my mind was I was just my head was exploding. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they, have, they fucking got the How Rosenberg. hard were you how hard were you reading? I was reading I was I was in caps lock, bro. It was fucking all my all my uh, comments were clickbait. It was huge. <laughs> 